three persons A, B and C lived on an island hill. A lived at the top of the hill. B occupied the middle portion. A on the top, B in the middle and C occupied the bottom of the hill. At the top of the hill good, good rainfall. Main source of water had few trees. Middle of the hill was lush with trees offering timber. The bottom of the hill had good stones and land. Stones and sand, sorry. A, B and C assessed their wealth in terms of ownership of timber, water, stones and sand available in the island hill only. So you can't have an offshore account in, in, in Kans and claim that to be your wealth. During heavy rains, stones and sand from the top and middle portion of the hill rolled over to the bottom. Such is life. This is gravity. When the rains stopped, both A and B claimed that some stones rolled down from their lands to the land occupied by C. They wanted the stones back. But C argued that rolling down of stones is a natural process. I don't know where the questions are headed towards here, but I, I would I'm, I'm inclined to agree with this. Kind of. It's not like Steve set up a, 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 a squad of military operands to, to jump out there and steal the stones. Stones roll down, you roll with it. They are, they, C probably can't lay claim to it. They can find a mechanism to share this. They can find uh, avenues to have a good treaty, some... Uh, no, ways of not screwing over each other, over sharing these resources, but uh, uh, holding somebody accountable for natural process, not like a right? Let's jump into the questions. All three approached a wise man, as it turns out, we are the wise man here. This adjective basically means, I'm going to ask you a question, you better come up with one of the five choices. Which of the following is the best option available for the wise man? Award ownership of stones to A. No, not avoiding ownership of stones to A. Then that means C will have to go and return them. Then this constitutes, uh, I won't say stealing, but some form of uh, uh, something wrong that has happened. Permit A to build a dam so that A and B and C are deprived of water. This word alone disqualifies this choice. Uh, almost all international treaties are built with the, uh, water treaties are built with the idea that Countries living downstream definitely have access to water, even in the case of a war. You can fight with a country but not deprive it of water. So, deprived of water? No, no. Award ownership of stones to sea as stones roll down naturally. Yes, I'm inclined to go through this. The only thing is, I would go to the extent of saying, don't call it a crime. Don't force sea to take the pressure of uh, returning them. Not something wrong. It's a natural process. So I would say stones rolling down is a natural process. There's nothing wrong with it, such is life. But I don't know whether I would go ahead and award ownership of stones to see. They did roll down. They can be anybody's. If you awarded ownership to, of stones to see, every time anything rolls down, C keeps getting it. These guys share the wealth. So eventually C will own all the stone and sand and everything that, that comes down. They need to have some mechanism of... Uh, Finding middle ground. Otherwise, one will hold water, other will hold trees, third will hold stones. And then you are in trouble. You cannot say each one lays claim to one of the three parts independently. They should have some form where they have stake in each other's life. And some form where they, uh, they have the ability to transact goods. I will give you some stones for your water. That is how countries and regions build. Award equal rights to all three over all the resources. And so this is a, the most benign overall solution. I don't like it because it says award equal rights to all of them over all three resources. This, this forces them to trade or share or find some mechanism. I'm not saying one owns the sand, other owns the trees, other owns the water. He's not saying we'll partition everything into chunks which each of you can use. You cannot do that. Trees are trees, water flows, sand will roll. But, but create a mechanism where instead of three pockets having three sets of resources, it is three pockets having access to one giant pot of resources where they can all access with some mechanism. It's good, but I, I don't like the idea of equally sharing out resources because they each might start with the original value of resources. I don't like the idea of equal rights, but it's a good solution. Award A ownership of water, C ownership of stone. That's something that we are not doing. If you award A ownership of water, then A is very much permitted to do this. Definitely not doing this. Definitely not doing this. Definitely not doing this. And so C and D, between C and D, D is definitely the better choice. So 
this ownership of stones to sea that's an isolated thing you just basically say it rolls down give it to sea what about the water and trees then and then uh, just because they roll down you are offering ownership to sea completely anything that rolls down sea starts owning so it's not a complete solution it's not uh, uh, it, it doesn't address the every address all the issues d is better Six months later, the three realized that the solution offered by the wise man in the previous question wasn't working to the satisfaction of all because it did not help them find the appropriate value of resources. Very interesting. Find the appropriate value of resources. That's the issue here. Why did it not work? Because of this issue. Therefore, they reverted to status quo and day. After one year, all three of them wanted to construct a house each on their respective property. Three types of resources, timber, water and stone and sand. Obviously, the house has to have all three, otherwise it's not a good question. Right? While each had one resource in abundance, none of them had all the three in sufficient quantity. Of course, they still could not come to an agreement on how to fairly value and use each other's resources to construct the house. So, A has access to the water, B has access to the trees, C has access to the sand and stone. But how much is this timber worth? How much is this water worth? They're not able to conclude. They're not able to find an agreement. Valuing each other's assets is a, is a, is a mug scheme. They're not able to do that properly. So that valuation, how much is it worth? That's the issue. They again approached a wise man for advice. The wise man studied the situation carefully and proposed the following actions. Right? He also probably knows that they're not, they don't listen to good solutions from him. And the governing body of the United Federation of Islands, of which the island hill is a part, should take ownership of all the three properties and construct houses for the three. Wonderful. This is a classic wise man advice. This reminds me of the old story with the cats and monkey. And two cats go to a monkey and ask him to divide up a cake. He eats a little bit and then breaks into two parts. They're not equal. So he takes a little bit from the bigger part. That becomes too small. And he goes on, finally finishes the whole cake. And so... You're fighting among each other, so you get someone new. Take ownership of all three and construct houses for all three. Fine. Unless you have you're completely devoid of self-interest and you're massively fighting, you're not going to take that option. Unless there's a head to your gun, you, the three of you don't give away everything to the third, fourth guy and say, okay, now you solve the problem for us. In any way, end up, you, you, you solve this problem, but you get a house, so the other guy takes a giant cut of everything you want. United Federation of Islands seems like a classic international organization which is going to have fun doing this process. And so, not my preferred option. You don't you don't cede all your ownership to some fourth guy just because you can't resolve your issues. It comes at a huge cost. You're going to give away ownership of everything to someone else. Why would you? Each person should own one third of each of the resources. This is what the wise man may have suggested in the first place. But it did not help them. It isn't working to the satisfaction of all. And one third of each of the resources, the wise man suggested shared ownership of everything, not ownership of one third, one third, one third. The ownership, this wise man wanted each of them have more stake in each other's lives, and not not just divvy everything up, and, and that is very difficult to pull off. So this is probably good. And so, but this. Does not achieve this objective. Find the appropriate value of resources. You're just partitioning everything and saying you each of you deal with what you have. And, and, and that has not worked once. So, one I definitely don't like. Two I somewhat like. But the uh, the point of finding the appropriate value of the resources that's not working. Finally, somewhere you have to say one tree is equal to ten gallons of water, equal to three kilograms of uh, sand and stone. Some way of having a mechanism to recognize the value in someone else's property in terms of what you own. You go to a shop and you say, look, for 20 rupees, you give me two packets of biscuits. The value and the price of the biscuits is sitting inside some mechanism that has come up with the 20 rupee number. Um, otherwise, here, this is just, uh, that, is the, that is the point of, that is the idea of price discovery, value recognition. Thank you. The three percent should arrive, come back to the choices. The three percent should arrive at the value of resources by trading the resources among them. Barter to recognize the value. So I'm looking at a choice which has three in it. 
and does not have one in it and i'm being goes about two we'll come back to two three i like one i don't like you create a trading mechanism you can discover value for three trees you get 10 kilograms of sand if you can find that equation problem between b and c is resolved if they can find that it's resolved even better you keep bidding and you find that trading off point life is good this is the market solution to a great many problems so we want three in it so i don't want this i don't want this i might have this i don't want this i might have this but i don't want one in it so this is out okay i have a choice c 